Firstly, how are you after that head knock on uh, on Thursday? Was it Thursday? Yeah. Yeah, f- probably Thursday, Friday. Um, no, it's all good actually. I was pretty, I was pretty good after the game, um, and um, yeah, passed the test the next day. So um, all pretty positive. You'll definitely be uh, playing this week. No ongoing problems with that head knock. Yeah, no, no ongoing problems at all. So I'm good to go uh, this Friday. Just on that, um, that big Zach Bailey he made when you weren't looking too good on Friday night, Ryan Madison. Uh, held you up and and took you over to your trainer. Um, do you appreciate that? Have you spoken to him about that? Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, that was that was awesome. Um, you know, I watched the footage back, um, and I even like just wrote a little comment on Facebook just thanking him. But you know, at the time, I probably didn't appreciate it. Um, I wanted to play on, and you know, um, it's it's what most people do when they're in that situation. But yeah, I was I was definitely thankful. Um, you know, these these things have like pretty bad long-term effects and if they're not looked after properly, you know, you can end up pretty bad. So um, it was nice of him to to look out for me, um, especially when you're in that kind of environment where everything's a competition. Um, Do you see similarities between this year's Panthers and the 2014 Southside that won the premiership that you played in? Yeah, yeah, I got got asked this question a few times, but um, probably the similarity for me is just the, the young guys playing so well. Uh, I think in that 2014 team, we had a few, maybe five or six 21-year-olds, but um, we're just playing great footy um, and really lifting the bar and, and standards. So um, to me, that's probably the biggest uh, you know, similarity with, with both teams. Spin, you mentioned the fact that there's a lot of young players and, I mean, a lot have put their hand up this season, but everyone, especially after the last few weeks, have had big raps on Liam Martin. Um, how impressed have you been with him and, and that try, that uh, that massive leap and try, on uh, Friday night. Yeah, I um when I first came here this year, uh, this preseason. Sorry, I was um I was pretty taken back by how much of a smart aleck he was. He just he doesn't stop. He's just he's a nuisance. He's a proper pest. And him and Brett Naden just they they really don't stop. So um, I wasn't sure how his footy was going to be and uh, what kind of uh, I guess leadership or experience he was going to bring to the field, but. I love it now. I, I I honestly do. He's um just one of the most energetic people to have around, and and just to see him playing such good footy, it's awesome. Um, you know, he's one of those guys that'll do anything for the team, and he's always going to be there, you know, right behind you. So, uh, to see what he's producing, I'm pretty impressed, and you know, I hope he keeps it up for the rest of the season. I'm sure, he will. Hey, Abby, just back to um, you said the similarities between the 2014 South side that um, you were part of, and this side is the the youth amongst the group. Uh, some critics say that the Panthers don't have the big game experience for the back end of the year. What what do you say to that? Yeah, well, um, I don't know how many teams have the big game experience, to be honest. You know, everyone ends up there uh, eventually and, you know, some win on the first go and some don't. But, um, yeah, I don't know how many players in that South team had been to a grand final uh, and won one. So, um, the youth, the youth brings a lot of energy. The youth brings a lot of energy, and we've got some big game players with, with Nathan and we've got Jimmy Tom out there. So um, I think if we can just continue to keep the focus on us, not worry about that outside noise that um, everyone keeps saying that we don't have that experience. Um, you know, we haven't said it first either, I don't think, many of these kids before in NRL. So, um, you know, we're still there at the moment and we're still able to reduce. So, you know, I think we're just going to keep heading forward to that mindset. Um, and try and take that as far as we can go. So you guys are full of belief. What do you believe is the biggest challenge standing in the way of the Panthers in a premiership? Ourselves. It'll be ourselves, uh, 100%. Now we've proved we can play footy. We've proved um, you know, we can do everything on the field. It'll be, um, it'll be between the ears from here on in. Um, a lot of these questions you guys are coming up with now are a lot of things we're going to have to block out. Uh, talking about experience, talking about a young team talking about having been here before. So um, I think, like I said, if we can just worry about ourselves, um, keep doing what we have been doing for the whole year, change nothing, um, I think we'll go a long way into putting ourselves in a good position. Happy, it's Nathan from the Western Weekend. Uh, just one from, from left field. I'm not going to ask you about, about the footy or anything like that, but it's women in league round this round, mates, and obviously a year with COVID and, you know, being stuck inside and, and whatnot, and your wife presumably has to probably do all the shopping and things like that. Um, you want to give a bit of a, a shout out in, in some sort of way to, 
to the women in your life that, who have sort of helped you along this year in what's been a difficult year off the field? Yeah, mate, I, um, <clears throat> I can't thank my, my wife enough, to be honest. Um, it's like you said, it's been a crazy year with COVID. Um, so, yeah, we've already got two hard kids to, <laughs> to deal with. Um, one's, one's pretty chilled and the other one's like me. Uh, it doesn't stop and real cheeky. So, you know, I, I honestly don't know how they do it. I, um, I let the wife go shopping a couple of days ago and I stayed home with the two kids. Um, and I dare say I won't be doing that again anytime soon. Um, it's harder than playing a game of footy. I'm not even kidding. That's um, it's a real tough gig. So, mate, I, I, I don't know how they do it. Um, they're real, yeah. real special creatures and, you know, I can't thank them enough. And especially my mum as well. She's been really supportive and right behind me and obviously growing up. So, um, mum, Amy, if you're watching, I love yous and thank yous. <laughs> thank all the women out there and the mothers, honestly.